Hello from Woodenville Wine Blog. This is Carrie, and I wanted to share the three interesting red wines that I picked up at Beaumont Cellars this week. They are at the junction in Woodenville, and between Saltstone and Guard, and next to Five Star Cellars, and Armstrong is on the end. So this one I am super excited about. Won't be able to drink it. I'm going to lay it down a couple years, and a couple years from now I'll thank myself. It's a 2019 Nebbiolo. Now there's a Nebbiolo at Cascade Cliffs, and I think there's a Nebbiolo at Celano Winery, probably Michael Florentino, a few other wineries that are escaping the top of my head. I should have researched this before I started this video, but oh well. This is from the Waluk Slope. We don't have a lot of Nebbiolo in Washington. I'm very excited to drink this. So, Waluk Slope, and next up, I grabbed the Waluk Slope 2018 Reserve Petite Syrah. I don't know much about Petite Syrah. I know I've tried Mary Hills and probably Sparkman's. Again, I should have done a little more research. I also picked up the Beaumont Cellars 2018 Waluk Slope Reserve Petite Verdot. Now I have served 100% Petite Verdot at parties before, and my guests were like, huh? They didn't really care for it. <laughs> I'm not even sure I will like this, but I will find out in uh, a couple years. I'm going to do some research on how long to lay it down for. But I really was excited to get these and have a little something different a few years from now besides just GSM, Cap Sauve, Cap Franc, Merlot, la la la. All delicious, getting a little boring. So, the Petite Syrah. Nebbiolo, which I think I'm wishing I'd bought two or three bottles of, but I didn't want to be greedy with my industry discount, and a Petite Verdot, Beaumont Cellars. I am dreaming of going out to their tasting room in Quincy and visiting there in the spring, and I'm going to do it. Why just dream? I'm going to do it. If you have tasted or purchased any of these wines from Beaumont Cellars, please drop me a note in the comments below. I'd love to hear. And if uh, you have any recommendations for how long I should lay them down for, let me know. Thanks.